Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So right now we are inside of Cinema 4D and I've just opened up a new empty scene. So we will be just doing a quick overview of the basic uh, animation options in uh, After Effects. So sorry, sorry, not After Effects, Cinema 4D. So let's just start by creating a cube and I will just change it so that it has a bit different size and um, let's just do a very quick and easy animation so I will move it around around over here and then I will go into uh, the coordinates and since I'm moving the red axis right here I want to animate uh, the x-axis so there's a few different ways you can do that the easiest way is just clicking right here and this is the record active, active objects. It, it's basically just placing a uh, keyframe. So if, if I click right here, you will see all these attributes right here have turned red. And that means that on this frame, on frame 14, these have got this keyframe. That means on this frame, um, the value will be this. And you can see on the timeline, you've got this little blue square. So if we move to another frame, and this will be very uh, familiar if you've done any animation after effects, you can move the object, click this, click this button once again, and you'll have two keyframes. And as you can see, Cinema 4D has created a line between the two points. And then there are all these small dots that basically means these are like frames with positions. It's very cool. So let's just try and uh, play this through. And as you can see, it's moving between the points. So uh, this is, as you can see, it's like it's accelerating and then it's slowing down again. So that's because it's using spline points. If you click on these points, like this, you can see you've got different types of interpolation. So this one has been set to spline. You can set it to linear, and I will do that for the other point as well. Linear, and as you can see now, the points have actually been spread out. They are more even. And if I play this through, you will see the movement is completely linear. So if you click and drag on this little part you can actually uh, select multiple points and uh, let's try and put this to instead of linear let's put it to step and uh, try and play this so a step as you can see a step basically means okay at this point and forward you have to be at the position that this keyframe uh, tells you to so uh, this key this keyframe says okay you have to be in this position and it will be in that position until something else has been said and at this keyframe it's been told you have to be in this position so as you can see there are actually no dots on this line and that means there's no interpolation between the points it's not moving between the points over time let's put this back to spline and uh just see that it has been put to spline again as you can see right there so uh we can also uh, like in after effects you've got a timeline so if we open it up go into window and pick timeline you will see something like this so you've got all your objects and uh, you can see the animation so i can see my cube if i click on this little plus, I will see all these other options. So the position, the scale, the rotation. And since I just used this button, I've placed keyframes for all these uh, attributes. And that means everything has been keyframed. But the only thing that's actually changing is the position X. If I open up any other, it will just be a completely uh, horizontal. Yeah, that's, that's what it's called. A completely horizontal line. So as you can see, this one has a bit of a curved look to it. And that is because I'm using the spline interpolation. I am very sure that if I put this to linear, 
it will turn straight like that. If you put it to a step, you can see that it's basically how a step works. It's like, and then completely vertical right here. So let's put it to linear or sorry, let's put it to a spline, I should say, like this, like this. And um, you can actually start changing these. So as you can see, if I drag these, the points on the line, they change. And that basically means that uh, it's going to move in a different speed. So as you can see, it's going to move very slow right here and then it's going to accelerate. So that way, that way you can basically go in here and start changing the animation of your objects. So I just deleted all of this and that means I've deleted the animation like this. So let's try and do a last thing. I want to try to get this to follow a path. So what I will do is that I will go into a different view. I'll go into the top view right here and I will go up to filter and just turn on the grid so that I can so that I have a bit, bit of a reference. So as you can see, this is my cube. I'll go up to splines and I will just pick a cubic spline. And then I'll just click a few places until I've got a some kind of a path. And I'll just click V or just deselect like this. And this is now my path. What I can do is that I can actually get this box to follow this path as if it was like a car or something or a train. So if I go into uh, the cube, right click, Cinema 4D Tags, I can see, say, Align to, and then I can pick Align to Spline. If I just click this, you'll see that the cube has got a little box out here to the side. And anytime you add something like this, it will almost always add a little box to the side like this. So if I click this button, you'll see in my attributes panel, I get a few options. So I can do a spline path. That means I will take my spline and drag it to the spline path. And now you can see my cube is on the spline. So if I start changing the position percentage, as you will see, the cube will start moving along the spline, but it's only facing in one direction. It's facing the, in the original direction that the cube had. So to uh, solve that, I can click this button, uh, tangent, tangential or something, tangent seal. And uh, as you can see, it's now aligned to the spine. If I move this, it will follow, but it's rotated 90 degrees in the wrong direction. So let's actually just create, or if you have this highlighted, you can just do Alt G, open up the null, and then you can take this object or this little uh, icon and drag it onto the null instead. So that means we now have a null. And if you remember, a null is just a position. So we have this position moving along with this spline. And then we have this cube parented uh, or set as a child to the cube, sorry, the null. That means we can take this cube and rotate it, hold shift, and then let go when you're at 90 degrees. And if we start changing the position now, you'll see our cube is following along like it's heading in the right direction. So we can do some animation. Let's just increase our timeline. So 250, drag this to the end like this. Then I want to, I want to only animate the position. So what I can do is that I can actually just control click on this little uh, icon, move to the end, set this to 100%, 
and control click once again and that will create that will have created two position key points for only this attribute if i were to click this button i would be creating keyframes for all the uh, other options as well so let's just play forward and as we can see our cube is moving along nicely with the spline so that is actually about it for basic uh, animation I showed you how you can do uh, animation for positions but you can you can of course get very creative let's just remove all of this so if we have our cube right here you can of course of, of course get creative you can like put a position keyframe right here put in another one right here rotate it oh here move it over here rotate create a keyframe move over here rotate even more create another keyframe oh sorry I was on the same frame rotate create a keyframe as and as you can see we are now building a path so we can move to the middle and then maybe just add a bit of weird rotation at the keyframe go back to the beginning and let's see what we've got see so you can of course uh, animate anything and that was just to prove my point so that was about it for the very basics of the animation we will now go on to creating a robotic arm thank you for watching Ethiopedia world stay tuned for more videos